Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be putting to the test a foundation that I've been dying to try, and I don't know why I have put this on the back burner for so long. We're testing out from Laura Mercier, dun, 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 Flawless Fusion ultra long wear foundation. Now, this is supposed to be a miracle for anyone that loves long wear foundation. It is good for all skin types, including dry. It says even sensitive skin can wear this product, and it is a 15 hour long wear foundation. It's oil free, transfer resistant, has a matte finish, and it is medium to full coverage. It's gonna feel lightweight on the skin. A lot of people love this. When I was in my early 20s, I would save and save and save, and I would buy Laura Mercier foundations because they wouldn't aggravate my skin or give me acne. And back then I struggled a lot with breaking out, with foundations being too tough on my skin and making things kind of explode. And in my mind, I used to have this thing where it was like Laura Mercier is the only foundation that won't break me out. And I even used Laura Mercier way back when, when I was on Accutane. So I guess my point is, why did I ever stop using it? I don't know, I just have tried a lot of different things throughout the years. It has a portion of a star on the five star rating, like it has just a little teeny tiny, like four stars and a quarter. Uh, but this is out of 1107 reviews. So uh, this is talked about a lot in a positive way. It comes in 20 shades. It is a full fluid ounce for 48 bucks. And let's just get to it and apply the product. You guys, I am having one of those days where 5,000 cups of coffee would not wake me up. I did not sleep last night. Do you ever have those nights where you feel like every hour you are waking up, whether it's the dog, a weird alarm going off, something dropping off my counter, um, just, oh, it was just like one of those crazy nights. Um, so let's try to mask all of this tired, looking, feeling situation with some intense foundation. I have prepped my skin with a little bit of Tarte's Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I love this stuff. I had an old jar of it and they actually sent me a few of the updated ones. I think they were probably like, um, can you stop using that like dingy old jar of primer? Here's the new version. Uh, so this is what's priming my face. And let's take a look at the two shades that I picked up. I have Buff and Cashew. This is Cashew. Neutral undertoned and a little light for me. So let's take a look at Buff. This is more what I want my skin to look like. I'm gonna mix these two together. That's something I almost always do anyway. So let's do that. Mm. I am trying so hard to eliminate processed sugar from my diet. This tastes horrible, actually. It's just like straight coffee with almond milk. I am gonna use this device on half my face and a beauty blender on the other. So we'll start with this guy right here. And I am just gonna dot my face. This is a very liquidy uh, texture. It's not too thick. It seems like it's gonna spread around quite nicely. Oh my God, my earring is annoying the crap out of me. Why do I even wear earrings when I haven't done my makeup? This is nice. It really does go into a matte finish right away, but it's not a crunchy matte. It's actually a very natural matte, but with not a lot of dewiness. It's just, oh, I like it. Guys, that was just one very thin coat. I did not build up a lot at all, and it's pretty full coverage. I think everything they have stated about this product so far is spot on. I love the feeling of it. It does feel lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's on top of my skin. It just feels like my skin. So this is really great. I'm gonna go ahead and dot the other side of my face and we're gonna try it with the Beauty Blender. So I think I do like the Clarisonic better for this product just because it dries down really fast. You do need to work fast. So this would not be one that you wanna really, you know, dot your face and take your time because it does grab to the skin and dry down so, so quickly. So work fast. And I do like this tool for that kind of a product that needs blending to happen in a snap. It's looking really good. There was one area here where I didn't get to blending it fast enough and it looked like all the foundation was kind of grabbing a little bit, but I'm not wearing a hydrating primer or anything 
really silky underneath it, just that blurring primer in my kind of more visible pore areas in my T-zone. So it doesn't have anything underneath it. It still glided pretty well, but next time I probably would put something um, a little more moisturizing underneath for me because I have combo to dry skin. This feels even more lightweight than the All Nighter. I'm kind of mind blown. Um, it's a very, very similar look. I definitely am excited to see how long this wears. I am gonna show you guys on camera how the concealer goes on top of it because that's my other big test. I can't stand it when foundation does not want to agree with my concealer and there's weird kind of bulking up of the product. So let's see what happens with this. I am using light neutral honey, no, light medium honey, tart shape tape, I know, predictable. Why can I never do my concealer without my mouth open? Literally, I'm always like <coughs> It's layering okay. It's doing a little bit of that thing where you gotta kind of blend and push the product in. You don't wanna wipe or things are gonna get kind of cakey and a little messy. But I think this looks really good, you guys. Do you like this so far? I think this looks really good. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my face, zoom back out, and we will continue talking. You guys, it takes a lot for me to like a foundation this much in a snap. Oh my gosh, but look at my face. It is perfectly mattified. Nothing is exaggerated. None of my lines, none of my dry patches. My pores look smaller. The other makeup that I applied, including my bronzer blush highlight, just really glided on the skin. So I'm really, really excited and optimistic about this foundation. It just looks so Nice. I used a little bit of Cody Airspun powder pressed in with a velour puff to just set the face, but I didn't go heavy with it whatsoever. So this foundation really does not take much to lock into place. You could probably even skip powder if you are someone that doesn't get oily, but I always like to set my face because I have that weird combo skin that is dry in areas, but still looks a little bit greasy by the end of the day, which I'm really curious to see how this wears. I do wanna say I noticed that when I was blending, it is very transfer resistant. That is true to the claim that they say online. It does not fingerprint or smudge around. So I really, really like that. I do wanna show you guys kind of side by side a few of my favorite foundations that I'm noticing do similar things. So of course, this is the All Hours and this has been such a dream for me. I love this product so much. It wears really, really well. It is very full coverage, even a little more full coverage than this that I'm wearing here, um, but I love it. And it is an extremely long wearing product and that's another thing I really like about this. This is $10 more, it's 58 bucks, and you don't get as much. You don't even get a full ounce. You get 0.84 ounces. So another product I wanted to talk about because we're kind of, you know, chatting about foundations is this one, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. I do like this, but I end up being way, way, way too greasy by the end of the day. But if you're looking for a long wear product and you have more dry skin, I think the texture of this and how it sits on the skin and how it blends out is really, really good. So this is kind of another option that's long wear, that's more geared toward dry skin and it's a bit lighter. What I'm wearing on my face right now though is reminding me an awful lot of my Fiona Styles matte finish foundation. You guys know I wore this on my wedding day. It was a favorite of mine for so long, but it's really hard to track down. Um, they don't carry it at Ulta anymore, so I stopped wearing it to not frustrate you guys when you're like, oh, what's a good foundation? And you see me wearing something and you can't buy it. I don't wanna do that to you. So yeah, so that's why I've been with this one for a while. But now I like this one. Here's the scoop. I love it right now. I love everything about it from how it applied to how it looks to how other products laid on top. But we are only about an hour in. So I will do another check-in in a little bit. It is now lunchtime and I am so surprised that my face still looks matte and has not needed to be touched up at all. This is so unusual for me. Even sometimes with the YSL, I have to kind of blot a little bit but this is just looking fantastic. I love it so much. James loves it, he's a big fan. Um, huge thumbs up. No, really, you, you look awesome. Thank you. You really do. No, but it's so different for Your me. Your skin looks so pretty. I like it. Nice little dish of rice 
and meat next to my fake candles. And that's where we're at with this foundation. What are you doing? You're in a mood today, dude. Puka. Hi. All right, you guys, here is your update. This foundation has been on my face all day long. It is magic hour. It is starting to get dark out and I have not had to powder, not once, which is incredible for me. And at this very moment, I'm thinking, this might be my new favorite. I like it a little bit better than the all nighter. It just feels a lot lighter on my skin and looking at my skin even like super up close, it's just wearing really evenly. I'm sorry about the neighbor's dog that's like having a fit um, and now Puka's growling too. But uh, yeah, the day's not over. So I'm gonna wear this for a few hours more, do another check-in, but so far, huge thumbs up. All right, you guys, it is final check-in time. I have my nice evening hairdo going strong right now, and it's freaking 11 o'clock at night. I wanna show you, I wanna verify the time for you all. It is, can you see? Can you see? It's 11.07. <laughs> I'm a little shiny right now, a little bit shiny, but I have to say for the amount of time that this product has been on my face, uh, I'm impressed. I have not had to use any touch-up powder. I have only blotted one time and it is looking good. And even with the oil coming through, like it kind of looks like crap on um, camera, to be honest. In real life, it looks more just dewy and almost, almost fine. Like it almost doesn't bug me. It doesn't look like oily, greasy with like cakey makeup breaking apart. It actually looks quite nice. So I love this. I'm so excited about this foundation. It is in the top five. It is a very close, I don't want to say winner over the all hours because I've only worn this one time, but I like it that much. Like I like it so much immediately. I almost want to say I like it more, but time will tell. This is just a more lightweight feeling version of the YSL all hours and I'm excited about it. I had a really good makeup day. So I hope you guys enjoyed me taking a, you know, wear test on a day that's not Tuesday or Wednesday. Normally I only do this on WTF or OMG, but if you want me to do more foundation wear tests, give this video a thumbs up. I'm happy to do them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. I'm off to bed. All right, I love you guys. Mwah.